I want to show you something. This right here is a snapshot of the energy transport infrastructure of this country. I've recreated this scene in a little game called Factorio, a game that you should never play because you'll never stop. But that aside, what are we looking at here? Well, we're looking at a road, a pipeline, a rail line, and a high KV transmission line. These are not the local power lines that you see around town. These are the big power lines that interconnect separate subgrids and connect power stations to cities. I want you to draw an imaginary line through all of these and imagine the energy that passes from one side of that line to the other in a 24 hour period. We have this road which represents overland transport. These would be semi trucks carrying tankers tankers of gasoline, fuel oil, sometimes other petroleum products like propane. We then have a pipeline. Now this could be a natural gas pipeline or a crude oil pipeline, and there are even some places where you have a gasoline pipeline. Then we have our rail line where it's primarily transporting bulk commodities like coal or oil. This could be crude oil or again, a further refined product. And then we have our nice clean electrical power system. To put it in perspective, this little pipeline here transports the same amount of oil as 750 semi-trucks in a 24-hour period or a freight train with 250 oil tankers on it. That little pipeline is doing more work than the railroad and the highway. And if we're trying to decarbonize our entire grid, we're going to say goodbye to those pipelines and we're going to say goodbye to those coal trains and those oil trains as well. The future is electric, renewable, and clean. But what should that look like? All of the energy that we used to move around the country in physical hydrocarbons is going to be put onto a wire. The question I want to ask is this, how much should we be focusing on simply upgrading our grid versus how much should we be focused on reducing our demand? In other words, should we become more powerful or should we become more efficient? This is why transit is so important. Transit reduces the total energy needed to move people around. Instead of just building a grid so powerful that everyone can have a supercharger at home. Additionally, we should be looking to decentralize our power production so that we don't incur even greater line losses. Finally, we should consider the roles of biofuels, hydrogen, and other physical transportable forms of green energy. Moving energy in a physical form will help alleviate the strain on our national grid. I made this video to help visualize the costs of a very necessary transition. It can be done, but maybe we should try to reduce our consumption before overbuilding our grid.